Hey guys, this is Jaren in Dallas and you're watching Pink Planet. Hi, this is Marianne in Dallas and you're watching Pink Planet. In Dallas, you're watching Pink Planet. <laughs> Hey y'all, we are in the Big D, a city that's famous for big hair, big cars, and big barbecue. It's also home to a very close-knit gay and lesbian community. I'm Bill Mantis. In this edition of Pink Planet, we explore Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dallas. The local time is 4.20. Woo! Texas! Woo! Dallas, the largest city in the Lone Star State, has had an image makeover. Long gone are the good old saloon days and rowdy cowboys. Instead, Dallas is coming out as a gay-friendly destination in America Southwest, with an established gay district and a growing gay community. We have the sixth largest gay and lesbian population in the United States. It surprises a lot of people, but we do have a very vibrant and diverse gay community in Dallas. You know what? You're, you're absolutely right. I think people would be surprised by everything that you're saying. We don't think of Dallas on the gay radar. Why is that? Well, I think there's a somewhat dated perception of Dallas mm. as very conservative, very... Uh, you know, we, we, we joke that people still associate J.R. Ewing with Dallas. <laughs> yes. you know, the show went off the air 20, almost 30 years ago, and yeah. people still have that sort of image of Dallas. On this stretch of Cedar Springs Road in the northeast section of downtown Dallas, you'll find, ta-da, the Gaberhood, with most of the action in and around this intersection right here at Throckmorton. It's really where we call home. Uh, it's more than just nightlife. It's also a lot of gay and lesbian shops and stores and restaurants as well. Uh, most visitors come away from Dallas thinking that we have a very cohesive community. And I think part of that is this strip that brings us together. So it mean, means a lot to us um, here in, in Dallas. I've probably been here like five times last year and it's just a lot of fun and everybody seems pretty diverse here and it's entertaining and I always have a good time. You've got your gay neighborhood which is pretty diverse, you've got the bars, the shops, the restaurants, you know, really open. Is it different in some way because it's Texas but gay at the same time, maybe two th words you don't hear quite often in the same sentence? Right. Yeah, I, it makes sense because Texas generally from the rest of the country. I know before I moved down here, Texas is, you know, the Bush state and, yeah. you know, very Republican red state. But um, especially here in this area of Dallas where the neighborhood is, it's very open. Is it friendly and safe as an out person? Can you navigate life in Dallas and feel comfortable? Um, in downtown Dallas, yes, you definitely can. In the suburbs or the the you know the outer lying areas, um, it's it's I, I would say it's a little more difficult to be out. In my opinion, it's it's has one of the richest gay communities in the United States. It's Friday night, and I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty all right. Time now to check out some of Dallas's best gay bars. Bars are great. <laughs> I won't lie, I'm here. Um, I don't go out that much, but whenever I do go out, I have a good time. We have cute people in Dallas, for sure. I like Dallas. I used to live in Boston. Um, it was okay. I like Dallas a lot. lot more lesbian bars than, than the average town so I'm not sure as far as events go but uh, the bars certainly. And the women are friendly? Oh absolutely and there's a lot more lesbians here in Texas I think than any other <laughs> state that I've lived in. So. <laughs> Probably the friendliest place to be out here on the strip because we've got something for everything. Uh, all walks of life are in here, even though it's a, it's supposed to be a country western cowboy bar. 
We welcome all, everyone inside and make sure they have a good time. Well, everyone was welcome here and we sure appreciate y'all being here. So we're gonna give you a big hug because we don't shake hands. <laughs> You're watching Pink Planet in Dallas. Time for a short break. We're back with a whole lot more right after this. When we come back, we go broke back with a real life gay cowboy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, this is a whole very country. And even stormy weather couldn't dampen Dallas pride. Feels great, actually. Feels very comfortable being um, just out where nobody can really judge you. Win a trip for just a few pennies. Pink Planet is offering a bunch of holiday packages for two. Just text TRIP to 100-100. Place your bid. The lowest bid that no one else has wins the trip. More details at www.pinkplanet.tv. Remember, bid low. Hi, this is Laura Miller, the mayor of Dallas, the ninth largest city in America, and you're watching Pink Planet. This is Lupe Valdez, sheriff of Dallas County in Dallas, Texas, and you're watching Pink Planet. Hi, I'm Bruce Valanche, way south of the border in Dallas, and you're watching Pink Planet. and spirits for the annual Alan Ross Texas Freedom Parade. All right, people, give me some love. <laughs> Named after Dallas Pride's founding father, the Freedom Parade has become a must-see event for gays and lesbians throughout America Southwest. Feels great, actually. Feels very comfortable being um, just out where nobody can really judge you. You don't tend to think of Dallas as being as gay friendly as it is. Uh, it well, I don't know. No, I, my contact. So. Oh, I got my contact. So. Don't worry, I'll keep you dry. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> you don't tend to think of Dallas as gay friendly as it is. No, not this, well. The whole state. I mean, it's a red state, so you know it's not exactly a gay friendly state. But obviously, the city's out to support the community, and you know it's good. Good to be here. Was it important for you to be involved? Well, I am the first mayor of this city that has been in the Gay Pride Parade. And I've come every year. This is my fifth year to be in the parade. And I hope that future mayors will all think nothing about being here. I mean, they have to be here. It's an important parade. Uh, it's an annual tradition in our city. And a lot of people, gay and straight, come out and celebrate Absolutely. the community. And that's why it's important to be here. Also lending her support, Dallas's out sheriff. It speaks very well of Dallas County that they can see that a female, even a lesbian, can do a good job. Are you happy to see like the mayor and the sheriff and all those important people here? Of course, because that we know that we have uh, their support, you know? It's, that it's important that they are here letting us know that they count on us and we count on them. while Grand Marshal Bruce Valanche kept things pretty lively at the Pride Rally. Good afternoon, Sodomites. I'd been a Grand Marsha, Marsha, Marsha before in a lot of other places. <laughs> yeah. I did LA, San Francisco, New York, uh, Palm Springs, uh, Provincetown, um, Long Beach. I mean, I've, I've done, I've done the, the duty in, in other places. So I was, uh, I was very flattered and I thought, uh, I think, my first thought, of course, was, wow, they can whip together a gay pride parade. Um, it's, it's an amazing thing. And then I started doing some homework and discovered that they really have no trouble at all doing that. Thank you, and good night. But Dallas Pride stretched beyond the neighborhood borders. Members of the team looking for thrills found them at Gay Day at Six Flags. Do you love it? 
yes. love it. Yes. Oh my god, yes. of course. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's the what? best thing that happened to a red state. Okay, this is always the part that I just like. Uh, a little more comfortable about having a lot more like-minded people around. Um, it's just, it's more fun. It's just, you know, everybody's having a good time. Uh, we saw you guys hugging earlier. You obviously feel comfortable enough to show affection comfortably. Yeah. We're in a day and age where people just need to see it and learn it and uh, learn to live with it because we're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. You're watching Peace Planet in Dallas, Texas. Time for a short break. We're back with a whole lot more right after this. Hey. <laughs> when we come back, I wrangle myself a real life gay cowboy. Being a gay cowboy is, you must get a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> and Hollywood stars shine as part of Dallas's queer theater scene. If I had those, I would rule the world. Listen up, everybody. We're looking for Pink Planet reports from all over the world. Just visit pinkplanet.tv, register to be a member, and record a video blog. Watch for yourself in upcoming episodes. In Dallas, you're watching Pink Planet. Yeah, Dallas Pride, Pride, you're watching Pink, Pink Planet. Planet. Hey, Dallas, Texas, you're watching Pink Planet. A visit to Dallas would not be complete without an in-depth exploration of cowboy culture. We begin with what to wear. Say hi to everybody. Oh, hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we like to ambush people. We've got everything from skulls. This is goat hair. This right here. These are like 3400 It's These just are $3,400 boots. Yep, for the alligator. You're paying alligator. for the skin. Yeah, you're paying for the skin. This is total custom. Um, this is actually fossilized mammoth from Bali with a 24 karat gold bezel around that's set inside. This boot is 7200 A lot of celebrities come in here, you know, like I said, they're looking for one-of-a-kind pieces. And if we can't, like I said, we don't have it, we can, we can make it for you. Do you get some traditionalists that come into your store and say, hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> this is cowboy uh, country, and you can't put that stuff on a boot? You know what, <laughs> maybe, maybe that's a different area of town, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, not in this area of town. You know, we really don't get that. Next stop, a line dancing lesson with the pros. You're so I think you're probably a very brave woman if you're going to teach me how to dance. Okay. Say hi to everybody back home. Hey. <laughs> you're a regular. You teach people how to two country, two-step, line dance, Shuffle. and you've been doing it for a long time, haven't you? Exactly. 13 years. Is it tough to do? No. Easy. You sure? Easy. Simple. You sure? Yes, I make it easy. <laughs> make it very simple. You promise? It's all fun. Okay. I promise. Okay. And are gay dancers better than straight dancers? Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you by experience. Step right. Step right. Now pivot, turn to face opposite wall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break the stereotype and be the worst gay dancer possible. Okay. You wake and smile and get some side to rush. <laughs> you start off with the basics, you learn the, the basic steps, and it just all flows into uh, another dance. <laughs> How are we doing? Don't be laughing at me. <laughs> you see that? I'd like to see you do it. I'm going to hide in the back. Time? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. Here, why don't you hold that? Okay, here we go. <laughs> starting, starting on the left. We're going to go okay. into a left and left, right, left. <laughs> and finally, we load up the chuck wagon and hightail it to the country for a genuine slice of cowboy life. This, this is a quarter.
quarter horse right here? Yep. You have to, I'm a city guy, so, and I wore the wrong shoes. Charlie Cole is one of the most successful quarter horse ranchers in Texas. He takes us on a tour of his spread and opens up about life as a gay cowboy. Have you always operated as an out rancher? Uh, when I started, I didn't. I, I mean, I was already was very comfortable with myself, but I, I kind of just decided I wanted to um, prove myself in the business on my merits and on my ability. Um, and let people find out the rest on their own. At what point did you decide, hey, you know what, I'm not going to keep this a secret anymore? Uh, when people, when close friends and stuff kind of hinted that they knew and that they were all fine with it. And it really, it's amazing because when I finally did let it go ahead and be out there, I, I knew of a few people that it affected and I could tell it affected a little bit. In terms of what? Um, just the way they acted around me or the way, um, like I know a couple judges that you know, were harder on us when we would show and stuff. Because they knew you were gay. Yeah, but the most amazing part of that is um, is those judges now ask me about gay rodeo. I mean, they totally accept, accepted me when they, for who I am, and they realized that, you know, we're just two people doing their, you know, just someone doing their job and trying to do a good job at it. Being a gay cowboy is you must get a lot of attention, <laughs> especially since Brokeback Mountain. Are, are oh, you yeah. are are people n like embracing gay cowboy life these days? Well, they like to joke <laughs> about it for sure, and they definitely give me a hard time about it, but in a good way. How hard is it to be who you are, where you are? I don't think I live any differently at all. You're watching Big Planet in Dallas, Texas. Time for a short break. We're back with a whole lot more right after this. When we come back, Dallas goes Hollywood in a groundbreaking play. You are going to burn in hell. This is, you are blaspheming our Lord. These are the things I heard and they still echo in my head. We want to hear from you. Share your travel tips with the Pink Planet crew. Visit pinkplanet.tv, register to be a member and submit a blog or email. Watch for your comments on upcoming episodes. Hey y'all, it's Leslie Jordan sitting here in the Majestic Theater in Dallas, Texas, and you're watching Pink Planet. This is Gabriella in Dallas, and you're watching Pink Planet. In Dallas, you're watching Pink Planet. Let's face it, when you think live theater, Dallas isn't the first town that jumps to mind. That's why we were pleasantly surprised to find out that this city has a thriving gay and lesbian art scene. Main claw separated. Minor glass one. Well, I'm really glad you did. I tell you, that claw. <laughs> Designing woman star Delta Burke headlines in the Dallas stage production of Southern Baptist Sissies, a critically acclaimed yet controversial play tackling issues of homosexuality and religion. We caught up with the show's writer and director, Del Shores, for a very candid one on one. Is Southern Baptist Sissies your most personal play? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you know, my, my dad was a Southern Baptist preacher. He's, he's now uh, not with us anymore, but um, uh, I grew up in the church every, every week. That's where we lived, basically. And uh, so, uh, as, as Mark says in uh, Southern Baptist Sissies, this is where I learned to hate myself or that part of myself. And so, you know, it took a long time to, to recover, and, and part of that journey was writing Sur Southern Baptist Sissies. This is a really tough subject. You're talking sexuality and faith. At some moment, did you think, 
hey, I don't know if I should do this. Maybe I'm crossing a line. Were, were, was there some fear along the way? Oh, my God. I mean, there's fear every day still. I mean, you know, it's like when you get these, these emails and people say, you are going to burn in hell. This is, you are blaspheming our Lord. These are the things I heard. <laughs> Texas is my home and it's always, it feels wonderful to come back and be embraced by my state. And uh, you know, I'm not embraced by everybody. Hopefully coming back here, you know, we all get a little bit of um, what I grew up with. And I think that a lot of people here can relate. So I think that's why the plays are so popular here. And you, what's your story? Well, we got a little something in common. I was kicked out early on when I was found in a precarious situation. <laughs> Southern Baptist Sissies also stars Will and Grace Funny Man and out actor Leslie Jordan. Humor is the best way to combat homophobia. I learned that when I was in junior high during dodgeball, or as you call it in Canada, murder ball, red ass, whatever you call it. <laughs> it's where you get on either side of the gymnasium and somebody throws, they would holler, smear the queer. And so I had to tap dance or get creamed. So I learned really, really early that the best way in the world to combat homophobia, well, there's two ways. One is through humor. You know, if you can make people laugh, I think you can really, really make some strides there. And also to put a face on it. And we found out yesterday that right here at the Majestic Theater, our four performances of Southern Baptist Sissies and Sorted Lives has sold more tickets than any Broadway show that has graced this stage. Why is that? I think also, I think because of the subject matter. Number one, this is the buckle of the Bible Belt. This is where the Southern Baptists can... Hey! This, <laughs> Thank you for this that. Is where the, this is where the Southern Baptist Convention, this is the home, you know, this is it. So, you know, plus you have a lot of queers here. And that wraps up this edition of Pink Planet from Dallas, Texas. I'm Bill Mantis. We are off to another destination. See you next time. For a complete listing of gay bars, clubs, hotels, and events in Dallas, visit www.pinkplanet.tv. We explore Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I made that intro my bitch. <laughs>